Hello everyone, so we are in one of the last few examples for electrolysis and today's one is a bit special because now instead of using inert electrodes, I am using active electrodes. And a form of active electrodes is copper, right? Copper electrodes. So the last time we did aqueous copper 2 sulfate, remember the previous one, aqueous copper 2 sulfate but with carbon electrodes, now I'm changing electrodes to copper and that changes a lot of things right so let's go through the steps again to label the thing so please pause the video and practice labeling right label so i hope you have tried labeling so positive negative negative positive electrons flow this way so this one is a gain this one is reduction this is cathode this one the electrons this is loose this is oxidized and this is anode okay and in the solution i have cu2 plus so42 minus h plus oh minus and i know this one goes this way this way this way this way okay so you should have labeled the diagram like this and then you will know that for the positive electrode i have my so42 minus and i have my oh minus negative electrode i have my h plus and I have my Cu2 plus. For negative electrode, I know that reduction occurs here. And then for my positive electrode, I know oxidation occurs over here. So this is what we usually do when there's an inert electrode, right? However, when we have an active electrode, we must know that the electrode will participate. So let's we will add both the copper electrode. If the copper electrode is used, we write copper here. If zinc is used, zinc. If whatever is used, we put it over there, okay? So that is copper electrode. On the other side, we also add a copper electrode on both sides. So we need to choose, okay? So now let's start with uh, the positive electrode first. Now, in the positive electrode, I have my sulfate, hydroxide, and copper. So let's try looking, compare sulfate and hydroxide. We can immediately remember that sulfate will never react. So sulfate we can cancel. Now we need to choose between OH minus and copper. Now they might think, uh, Mr. Majin, what will happen to copper? So we must know that positive electrode is oxidation. Why? Because positive electrode is losing electrons, right? So because it's losing electrons, it's an oxidation. Then we need to ask ourselves, can copper be oxidized can copper lose electrons can copper increase oxidation state and the answer is yes if the electrode can be oxidized it the electrode will always be selected so if i have to choose between electrolyte or electrode and if the electrode can react electrode will always be selected so in this case, the electrode can be oxidized, so the electrode will be selected. So what will happen is that the copper electrode solid would be oxidized to form what we always know, copper 2 plus ions, right? And then balance at two electrons over here. So it's losing electrons, it is still oxidized. So what is happening here is that the electrode will decrease in size. Right, the electron the electrode will decrease in size. So how do we explain it? Because oh, this is slightly different, right? So location. So at the positive electrode. So remember location at the positive electrode. What is the reactant now? So the reactant is copper. So copper electrode is reaction oxidized to form copper two ions right or you can selectively oxidize right so the copper electrode decreases in size and actually on this side what happens is that the concentration of copper two plus ions actually increases however we cannot say anything about color yet because i want to show you what's going to happen on the other side so remember over here the electrode decrease in size because the copper is becoming copper ion 
Okay, let's look at the other side. We know reduction. And in our previous example, we if if we need to choose between H plus and Cu2 plus, we know we will definitely choose the Cu2 plus because copper is less reactive. So now I need to decide, is it going to be Cu2 plus or is it going to be Cu? So remember what I said, if the electrode can react, it will definitely react. So on this side, we need to ask a question, can copper be reduced? Can copper gain electrons or can copper decrease in oxidation state? One thing that you must remember is that metals lose electrons. That is a property of metals. The metallic character is that metals lose electrons. Metals must be oxidized. Metals cannot be reduced. So let's circle the copper and remind ourselves that metals, they are not reduced. Right? So over here, the electrode cannot react. So the copper does not react. So which one do I select? It's the copper 2 plus ions. And this is something that we have done before. So let's just try to revise. Copper 2 plus equals will form copper solid. 2 plus on this side, add 2 electrons, gain electrons, reduction. Okay? So the description is that a brown solid form. Right? So here the brown solid form. And on this side, the brown solid is the copper, right? And on this side, the concentration of Cu2 plus actually decreases. Why? Because the copper comes out. Okay, the copper comes out. So the explanation, we have did it in the previous example. So at the negative electrode, copper 2 plus ions are selectively reduced to form copper metal. All right? So now we need to talk about the color because if you look at this, on one side, Cu2 plus concentration is increasing. On the other side, Cu2 plus concentration is decreasing. So what's happening? So what's happening over here is that on this positive electrode, the copper, right, the copper comes up to Cu2 plus. On the right side, the Cu2 plus becomes copper. Right? So what is happening here is that actually nothing is happening to the concentration of Cu2 plus. So the color remains the same. So how do I explain that? All right? So I'm going to write it up here. Since right, Cu2 plus ions that react at the negative electrode location, right? Location. to form copper metal, right? And as Cu2 plus ion that is produced at the positive electrode replaces Okay, this is the most important word here, replaces, replaces the Cu2 plus ion in electrolyte. Okay, let me shift this or this down. Replaces the electrolyte, right? Therefore, Concentration of Cu2 plus remains the same. And because the concentration of Cu2 plus remains the same, right, the solution remains blue. And this is very different from the previous example. Okay, so just to recap, copper 2 ions that is actually converted to copper metal, right? The copper 2 ions is actually replaced because the positive electrode produced copper 2 ions. So the keyword here is replace, right? The concentration of Cu2 plus therefore remains the same. The color remains blue. It's very different than the previous example because we 
in the previous example, when we use carbon electrodes, the copper 2 plus ions is removed from the solution over here, but there is no copper ions that come here. There is no step here. Don't have the step here. So this copper 2 plus ions keep decreasing. Right? So that's the difference. In this case, the copper 2 plus ions come here and then it is replaced by the other electrode. All right? So this is this blue section here is the important one for this example. Right? And always remember, if the electrode can react, we will always choose the electrode. Right? So all the best over here. Practice, 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 and you will get better at it. Right?